everyone. One more time, momentum and impulse. Great trial physics, new lesson coming now. So we are gonna just start over what we have learned so far. Quickly, lesson one, lesson two, what we have learned. We start with momentum. Definition of momentum is important. Momentum of, a, of an object is the product of an object's mass and velocity. Formula is m equals m times v. And then what else we have to know for, well, for momentum? Unit. Unit of momentum is kg times meter per second. It is our first slide from first lesson. And then what else we have to know? Change in momentum. Change in momentum, other name is impulse. So delta P equals P final minus P initial. Final momentum minus initial momentum. And you can write M times V final minus M times V initial. M times delta V is equal to impulse first formula. Impulse definition is here now. Impulse is the product of the net force acting on an object and the time the net force acts on the object. This is our definition of impulse. Please do just try to write everything, all words, without missing any word. Impulse is also vector quantity, you know that. Unit is kilometer per kg times meter per second. And impulse and momentum together. So we know M times delta V is equal to impulse M times V. We know that. And what else we know? F times delta T is equal to delta P also. You can write both of them delta P. How we are getting this one coming from Newton's second law F net equals M times acceleration. We know that. And then we can write F net equals M times delta V over delta T. We are writing and then cross multiplication. Finally, you are getting this formula F times delta T, of course, F net equals M times delta V. We are gonna use these two formula in our questions. And then what else we have, let's continue. Impulse, all definition, yeah, what we explain now from Newton's second law, we can write this formula, impulse formula, unit of impulse, same. And save the rules, please read everything, all details, just I want to focus all questions and then you can read all save the rules for your questions. Graph questions, four cent delta T, four cent time graph. In four cent time graph area giving you impulse F times delta T. And you are just writing delta P1, delta P2, delta P3. You can make this side delta P1, delta P2. If you want, you can make just all of them delta P1, it's fine. And then delta P3 is here. So what is delta P1? Six times two. And then delta P2 is equal to six times four minus two, also two. So when, when just delta T is two, two, two. And what about delta P3? Six times eight minus four over two. Because you have a triangle here, so you must just use this formula to calculate. All right, so we are gonna calculate, we are gonna explain when you have graph questions, we are gonna calculate area for each. Oops, they, okay. Another one, conservation of momentum. It is important one. Most of questions coming from conservation of momentum. First of all, we should know definition. Total momentum of a closed system remains constant in both magnitude and direction. We know that, and that total P before, P initial, you can say P initial equals total P after. Initial momentum, total initial momentum equals to total final momentum. Why we are saying initial and final momentum from now, which we are using two different objects. They are coming to each other, you are gonna see in our questions. They are gonna come to each other and then finally just collide each other and getting new position, maybe they are going back, maybe they are coming together and moving together, After or another one, they are coming together and separate from each other. We have three different cases for this, three different options. 
for collisions. We are going to have mid more details, but we have two objects from now. Just know that. And next one, collisions. Yes, what we are looking for. It's important one, case one, case two, case three. Let's explain. After that, we are going to carry on with our questions. So collision between two objects. First case, what is that? What they said, two separate objects collide with each other and then move separate. All right. So what's going on? You have V initial one, let's say this way, and then we have M1. And then another one, V initial two, object two, velocity object two, M2. Let's say they are coming to each other and collide each other. After that, separate from each other. They are running away from each other. So what you have now, V final one, and then we have V final two. Okay, this position, just collide position. After that, they separate. Still, we have M1 and M2. And then how can we write conservation of momentum for this one? P initial one, P initial two, or P two initial is fine. You are just writing M1 times V1, V initial one, M2 times V initial two equals M1. As you see, we are just writing separately all mass, all of them, because they separate from each other. First position, we have two objects and then two different calculation momentum. Our final one also same. And for this kind of collision, if they ask you what kind of collision, so elastic or inelastic, so which one, what kind of collision, if they ask you, what you are going to do, you must calculate kinetic energy for each. So EK initial, we should calculate. EK initial, how can we calculate? 1 over 2, M1 times V initial 1 plus, or V1 initial is fine. So, and then 1 over 2, 1 over 2, M2, V2 initial, V2 initial. Let's say V1 initial, just as you say. You can use opposite this one. Right? So, this is our first position, kinetic energy before collision. All right. And then we are going to calculate EK2 equals EK2, or you can say EK final also, EK initial. If you say EK initial here, let's say EK final. EK final, 1 over 2, M1, and then M1 final plus V1 final, 1 over 2, M2, V2 final. So what is missing here? We should write square for each. V square and the V final square, V final square. Just this is our formula for kinetic energy. You will just check what is your elastic collision if EK initial total kinetic energy for first position equal to EK final. I hope it is fine. In question, they can ask you calculate elastic or inelastic, just asking you for one question. What type of collision? So you can use this formula for case one, M1 and M2, using this two formula for conservation of momentum, this formula for kinetic energy, initial position, final position, just calculating. When it is inelastic, EK initial not equal to EK final. You will just calculate and check if they are equal. So you can say first option, first type of collision. And then if they are not equal, second one. All right. So this is our case one. Let's go to case two. Case one, what was it? They are just coming to each other. They collide and separate. So next one, case two. Case two now, two separate objects collide with, with each other and then stick and move together. All right, so what's going on now? P1 initial plus P2, P2 initial because you have two different objects, M1 and M2 before collision. We have just like first one, M1, M2, 
case one also decide exactly the same. V one initial and V two initial. Let's choose any direction is fine because we are giving one example. After collision, they are moving together. Which direction we don't know, just let's show V final. We don't have V1 final, V2 final, just V final, right? So we have only V final. But what is your mass? M1 plus M2. You must just think you have one object moving, all right? Together they are moving. You can just say one object. So this is your formula, M1 times V1 initial plus M2 times V2 initial equals M1 plus M2 V final, all right. And then what type of collision, elastic collision, how you are gonna calculate E kinetic initial before, before collision, just what can we calculate? Same formula, just like other question, one over two M1 V1 initial square plus one over two formula, let's write. M2 times V2 initial square. This is our E kinetic, first one, initial kinetic energy. Second one is different because we have only one V final because they are moving together. Only one mass, one velocity. So how can we calculate? One over two, M1 plus M2 and V final square. As you see, we are not saying V1 final, V2 final, because they are moving together. All right. So if you just make together, you know, you can just say, but all same. All right. It's much better, much easier for you. Just think about that. What kind of case you have? This is case two. And the last one is coming now, case three. Case three, what's going on? Now they are coming together and then separate. So before college, before just no, just they are coming together just like one object, V initial we have only. All right, just V initial, M1 plus M2. And then after collide each other, so just they are separating. They are just moving and they're separating. We don't know with what the reason, but they just separate. They're coming together and then separate from each other. What we have M1, and then we don't know which direction, just let's write like this. And then we have M2, opposite direction, and M1 plus M2, V initial is here. As you see, they are just coming together. They are happy, as you see, just let's draw like this. They are happy first, but after that, they separate from each other. So when they separate, you are calculating like this. Now you know how can we calculate kinetic energy. EK initial, we are calculating one over two, M1 plus M2, and then we have V initial, so that's it. And then EK final is two different objects, M1 and then V1 initial plus one over two, M2, V2, oh sorry, final, why am I right, initial, final, and final so all right so case three like this from now we can carry on with our questions okay let's continue with next one next slide let's see what we have questions yeah elastic and elastic inelastic question we explained already you are just checking kinetic energy linear momentum both of them same okay never change because of conservation of momentum but you will check only kinetic energy for first position and second position. Question one for today. So we, we are gonna carry on with our questions. Let's see what they ask. Let's try to draw a diagram just to understand what's going on. I hope you got PDF format and you did try these questions because our system, as you know, you are trying first and then coming and checking answers. All right, please try first. When you try after that check, you can learn. Otherwise, just listening, just watching video, and then just getting answers straight, you cannot learn. You can, but not be effective. All right, so let's see. A car waiting at a robot, all right, cage 1,000 kg. Oh, accident is happening now. 
is hit from behind by a truck of 3000 kg. Okay. And then truck moving with 15 meter per second to west. Okay. And then immediately after collision speed of truck becomes 11 meter per second, but direction, direction also they should give direction of truck after collision. Just let's check direction of truck after collision. It's also west. We were just, they should just give in question. It's not written here, but also just going to do west just from 15 to 11. Just change. All right. Now we can draw our diagram and we can explain. So just add something here. 11 meter per second west. All right. So also given. First of all, for this question, now let's show answer or solution to you. Let's show everything and then we can explain. All right. So take west as positive direction. You can take east positive or west positive, but End of question. If you if you say east positive, and then you got positive, your direction is positive. Your direction is east. But if you say take west as positive direction, and then finally you are getting positive, you should say west. All right, just be careful about that. So what's going on? Let's draw and then let's show solution. And then we have done this question. First of all, you have a car just waiting at a robot. Okay, just let's draw. So let's say this is your robot. It's fine, sorry about that, it's ugly one. And you have a car here. Huh? Mass of car is what? Let's say M1 equals 1000. M1 is equal to 1000 kg. Okay, we can use this one because we know when you are calculating momentum, you must use in kg. And then V1 initial equals zero meter per second. Why? Because they said waiting at a robot. Initial velocity is zero for the car. And then you have a truck here. Okay, just big truck. Let's see, coming. All right, just big one is coming. So coming direction is west. So what is V2 initial in the question? V2 initial is what? V2 initial is equal to traveling at 15 meters per second to west. Okay, 15 meters per second, meter per second. And this is before collision. And then M2 equals, 3,000 kg. If you write on the question paper like this, it is going to be perfect for you because you will understand, you will see what's going on. So it's going to take your time, but you have enough time to answer all questions. Just try to understand question first. All right, this is before collision, before accident. And after accident, what's going on? M1, still same, 1,000 kg and then v2 v1 final we don't know because they are asking you that calculate velocity of the car after collision we are looking for this one and then m2 still 3000 3000 after x maybe something broken loss but it's fine we don't we ignore that so v2 final is equal to 11 meter per second, still to the west. What we said, west is positive, so you can use positive. From now, we are using conservation of momentum. Total P initial equals total P final. I hope everything is fine. It is what kind of collision? This is case one. They are coming to each other and separate from each other. All right, just coming. Only truck is coming to the car, but it's fine. They are just coming close to each other and then just separate from each other. So we are using this formula, M1 times V1 initial plus M2 times V2 initial, M1 V1 final, M2 V2 final. From now, 1000 times zero, because V initial is zero for mass one, and then M2 times 3000 times 15, 1000 times V, 
or V1 final you can say it's fine and 3000 times 11. When you calculate, you are getting velocity 12 meter per second to west. So car also moving, as you see, faster than truck because less mass giving more speed. All right. So this is our answer for this question. I hope everything is fine. We can carry on with next question. Another accident here. Yes, for now they are coming to each other. Let's see what they ask. Now toy car, at least, yeah, 100 gram. And the collides to another car with 150 gram, all right. MX, MY, that's good. 100 gram and 150 gram, all right. So initial velocity for each five meter per second to the right, 20 meter per second to the left, all right. Let's see, X, K, K, sorry, car Y continues at a velocity of four meter per second in the same direction after collision. All right, so let's write, V Y. let's say, this is our V X initial, and then V Y initial, and what is given? V Y final. Let's say VY final. What is that? What is it? Four meter per second, same direction. Okay, still to the left. So four meter per second. And then what they ask you, find the velocity of the car X after collision. Okay, we are looking for VX final. VX final. We are looking for, this is our question. All right, so... What they said, what's going on? Find the velocity of the car, just like said. They didn't say they are moving together. Constant toy car, okay, collide head on with another toy car, all right. Okay, let's just think as a just same, just a separate case one, okay, because no one's saying just moving together. We must just use case one. All right, so first of all, what we know, mass of the object in kg, not g. You must convert to kg, 100 divided by 1000, 0 0.1 kg, step one, we must convert them. 150 over kg is equal to zero divided by, you are getting 0 0.15. 0 0.15 is our answer, what's that? kg. All right, first step, you must convert unit from g to kg, and then, we must just check direction of velocity. So you can choose any direction, left positive, right positive, but I'm gonna choose right side positive. All right, and left side negative. Or you can say east, west, it's fine. Let's say east positive, west negative. Okay, I'm choosing that. And then I'm, when I'm answering questions, I'm gonna use positive for VXY and then negative for VY initial, negative for VY final. So we are using that. What was our formula? Total P initial equals total P final. Formula M1 times V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 times V1 final plus M2 times V2 final. This is our equation to get answer. So let's write, what's M1? 0 0.1 kg, 0 0.1 times we have positive five plus M2 is equal to 0 0.15 because we convert it to kg times V2 initially is equal to negative 20. This point is very important. If you are using East positive, you should use negative 20, all right? So equals M1 equals 0 0.1. V final, we don't know, just let's say V, v because we are looking for that. And then plus M2 is equal to 0 0.15. And our, our V2 final is equal to negative four. All right, from now we are gonna calculate five times 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and then 0 0.15 times 20, 
0 0.15 times 20, just let's calculate it, 0 0.45, so 0 0.15 times 20 equals, just we are getting three, negative three, we are getting for that, and then 0 0.1 V plus 0 0.14, but it is negative, so you can just write or in brackets negative, it's fine. Yes, let's use negative. So 0 0.15 times 4, 0 0.15 times 4, you are getting 0 0.15 times 4 equals 0 0.6. Okay, minus 0 0.6. From now, what can we do? Just taking other side, negative 2.5 left, and then plus 0 0.6. 6 because when it's going other side we get changed to plus you know that 0 0.1 v all right and then negative so 2.5 and 0 0.6 what are we getting 1.9 1 1.9 equals but it is negative that's the important point 0 0.1 v divide by 0 0.1 each and then you are getting V equals negative 1.9 meter per second. So we cannot leave it like that because negative and positive just giving you direction. This is our final answer. So this is 19, sorry. 19 meter per second. Yes, the right is fine. 19, negative 19 meter per second. So V final equals the final for first one, you can say V1 final equals 19 meter per second and direction is east. So it was, what was our first velocity? It was five, but now 19 meter per second east. Something is wrong. Wait, double check, double check, double check. So it is negative. If it is negative, not east, because getting faster after x is, no, 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 it's going other side, west, sorry about that, just going to west. All right, so if you see negative, just remove negative and then write west for direction. Final value is equal to 19 meter per second west. Okay, question two, also done. Today it's gonna be long lesson with you because we answer momentum everything from next lesson, only past paper questions, only this kind of questions, what we're answering today. So we are not explaining anymore, all definitions, everything, just questions from next lesson. So now what's going on? Okay, should an apple of 100 gram or that G, we must convert to kg, it's fine. And then on the three, 25 G apple, all right. Oh, okay, this one mass of object is coming to the apple with 120 meter per second east, all right. So gets stuck in the apple. So now case two, because first of all, just what's going on, arrow is coming, 25 kg, 25 g arrow is coming to the apple and they stuck together and moving together. So what we are looking for, speed of the apple immediately after it. So speed of apple and arrow together, we, should, we can calculate. So let's see. Yes, this is our case two. Coming together and then moving together. Just come to a separate. Let's see. You have an arrow here with, let's say, M1 equals 25G. This is our first thing. And then V1 initial equals what we have 120 meter per second. This is first object coming to the apple. So meter per second. So apple is here. I cannot draw nice one, just like hearts I can draw. So M2 equals, M2 is equal to how many just mass? What is mass of the apple? 20, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Arrow is 100 gram. Arrow is 100 gram. And apple is? 25 gram, all right. So 100 gram you have, and then 25 gram, second object. And what we are looking for, V final. V final, but after collision, they are moving together. 
So apple and arrow here. So they are moving together M1 plus M2 we are going to use. And then we are looking for V final for both of them. We don't have to say V final one, V final two, because apple moving with arrow. So this is our case too. We are using total P initial equals total P final. We are just calculating it. And then case two, M1 times V1 initial plus M2 times V2 initial, M1 plus M2 times V. And then you are just writing all givens. First one is zero because M1 initial M1, using M1 for apple. What's going on? Initial velocity just starts from three. Initial velocity, okay, this calculation, we should just double check because, okay, just sorry about that. We should just double check, all right, must just carry on. 0 0.1 times 120, oh, this calculation, all right. Let me just open a new page for you. Okay, so M1, what was it? M1, just don't see this side, sorry. M1, what is M1? 100 gram, so you must convert it. So zero point, what we have, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times V1 initial is equal to 120. V1 initial is equal to 120 meter per second. Plus M2, for M2, what we have, 0 0.1, what we have 0 0.025, 0 0.025 because divide by 1000. V initial two, what we have for V initial two, V initial two is equal to zero. Ish. You are lost for this question. Sorry about that. Huh? Can I just restart and answer everything? It's much better. Just let's see. We are starting and answering this question one more time with you. All right, because we just, we are lost. I think we are tired. All right, so first of all, uh, just an arrow is coming. Let's say this is our M1, okay. And then M1 is equal to 100 G equals 0 0.1 kg. This is our step one, converting unit. And what is next? V one initial v1 initial equals v1 initial is equal to i think we can open new page for you right i think it's much better it's one minute all right let's continue now we'll just start over just with fresh mind we must just carry on we must throw everything because that solution was wrong because of that we are lost so start over first of all what we have, we have just when a row is coming, M1 equals 100 G is equal to 0 0.1 kg, step one. And then V1 initial is equal to 120 meter per second. 120 meter per second, they said coming to east. So this arrow and then showing direction also. And coming to an apple. So apple, first of all, just suspended from a tree. So it means V initial, V2 initial is equal to zero meter per second from beginning. It is zero meter per second. And then M2 equals, M2 is equal to 25 kg, zero divided by 1000, 0, 0.025 kg. All right. So now this is our first position. What's our second position? Apple and arrow moving together. So now you have M1 plus M2, M1 plus M2, and you can write 0, 0,125, 0, 0,125 kg. You are just adding them. After that, we are looking for V final. You can just say V final. This is our second position after collision. They are moving together. This is our case 
true. So what can we do now? Total momentum, total P initial equals total P final. For first position, M1 times V1 initial plus what we have M2 times V2 initial equals now, well, yes, M1 plus M2 we are adding now because final position they are moving together and then V final, we are looking for V final. M1 is 0, 0,1 times V initial is equal to 120 plus M2 is equal to 0, 0.025, but V initial, V2 initial equals zero. And M1 plus M2 we know 0, 0.125, 0, 0.125 times V final, let's say just V. Okay, this is zero, it's gone. And 120 times 0, 0,1, what are we going to get? 120, we are just getting 12 and 0, 0,125 V. Just let's write, divide by 0, 0,125. We are just calculating it and getting correct answer. 0, 1, 125. Okay, 12 over 0, 0,125, we are getting 96. So V equals 96 meter per second. What about direction, east or west? From beginning, we said positive this side. So still positive, you can just say east. All right, so you are just by from beginning, you have to choose which one do you want. All right, question three we have done now. It's long journey, so because of that solution, we just lost, but we have done now. All right, now another question. Another accident, please, what's going on? So a car of mass 800 kg collides with a, another car with 3,200 kg. All right, they stick and move together. All right, case two, one more time. Case two, M1, M2, one more time, it's coming. So calculate their speed after collision. All right, similar question, people. So I hope you did try, you know answer already. Just let's answer together. So let's write all givens what we know. We know M for car, let's write M C. They said car and bus. All right, let's use MC, it's fine. MC 800 kg. Okay, we can just use it because we know already how many kgs. And then what else we have for other one? 3,200 MB equals for bus what we have 3,200 kgs. All right, we know M1, M2, just everything MC, MB. Now what is fine? Same thing. After collision, they are moving together. So M. B plus MC. What about speed? We can say V final. All right, same step, same question. What we are gonna do? Total P initial equals total P final. P final now. And then what we are gonna do? MB times VB initial plus what okay plus mc times vc initial equals they are moving together so m1 plus m2 and v final this is our equation to calculate v final we know everything except v final mb just mb what's our that's 3200 times and then we have 10 meter per second plus MC is equal to one, or oh, sorry, M2 is equal to 800. Okay, 800 times negative two. Okay, important point. You must just say east positive. 
All right, just we are using east positive, take east as positive, and then west is negative because of that we are saying negative two. And when you add M1 plus M2, what you are getting? 4,000, right? 4,000 times V final. So if you calculated 32,000, you are getting, when you multiply that, minus 1,600 is equal to 4,000 VF. All right. So 32,000 minus 1,600 you are getting 30,400 positive and 4,000 we have this side, V final, and you can get V final when you calculate divide by 4,000 each, you divide by 4,000, let's calculate divide by 4,000, answer is 7.6. As you see, we are getting positive. 7.6 meter per second. If you are getting positive, you can say direction east. So all together moving to east because bus is coming from this side with 10 meter per second. Of course, bus will take car and move to rest, move to right side, east. All right. So these are question four. I hope everything is fine so far. Let's continue with next question, last question for today. So now case three, all right, collision case three. What was the case three? They are together first and then they separate and moving. So let's see M1, 10G, it is given here. M1 is 10G, but we must convert to kg, of course. And then speed is 1,200 meter per second. So, but they are before initially they are together, all right, and then separate from Raffles. So just separate from just from the gun. So two kgs. Calculate speed at which. So just asking speed for m1. So initially we have m1 plus m2, first object and second object together, and then we have the initial. We have the initial just because start with that. We initial 1,200, and then after that, we have M1, just as you see, just alone here, and then M2. So you have just small objects, so we are gonna just calculate. This M2 is equal to 10 G. You can just convert to kg, it's fine, 0, 0,01, right? 0, 0,01 kg. Mass the for first one is two kg already in kg so we don't have to so two plus two plus what we have we are just calculating m1 m2 All right this is case two we can sorry case three this is case three now let's see our solution see m1 it was two kg plus m2 is equal to zero comma zero one times zero from beginning, just all zero. All right, because as you see, you have a just gun and then you are not using it. Of course, velocity is zero. Okay, 1,200, just when start moving, object two, when start moving, 1,200. We said big initial 1,000, but initial for M2. All right, so two times V plus M2 times V2 final. And then well, from this equation, when you calculate V is equal to negative six meter per second. And then you can just say it is going to west. V equals, V find is equal to six meter per second west. Because M2 is going to east and then your just other object, M M1 is just going back this way. If just west direction is west. So this is our case three, two objects coming together and then separate from each other. All right, so you are gonna calculate M1 plus M2. This is our question five. So today we have done, it was long lesson and then we have lost sometimes, but we done for today. From next lesson, we are going to carry on with all past papers. I'm going to check all solutions before we start. So see you next lesson. Have a nice day, everyone.